Hi friends, I have a technique I'm sharing with you today. It's another one of those oldie but goodies, um, but I know that it's new to many of you who watch my channel and it's new to a lot of my own customers and uh, stampers. So this is actually my club project this month. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how this fun technique comes together. I am using the Christmas Gleaming stamp set and I'm using the holly and berries. Okay, this piece of Whisper White cardstock measures four and a quarter by five and a half. It doesn't matter what size you use because we are going to be cutting out these holly uh, images. So you can uh, use scrap paper. I have a new little kitten. <laughs> it's crawling up my back as I'm doing this. So you could color these however you like. You could use your watercolor pencils, you can use your markers, your ink pads, an aqua painter or blender pen. If I had stamped these with my memento ink, I could use my stamp and blends. But I am just going to pull in my watercolor pencils and I'm gonna start with my old olive. And I'm just scribbling. But when I pull this together with my blender pen, it's going to look beautiful. You can also use an aqua painter with your watercolor pencils. So I'm just taking my blender pen and I'm just going to blend this in and I'm going to go over top with some mossy metal. my mossy metal ink pad and again using my blender pen I'm just going to add some of that color to these hollies and now I'm just going to go along the veins And then to clean the blender pen, just go back and forth until it comes out clear and then it's ready for the next color. Going back with my watercolor pencil, I'm adding some real red. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of cherry cobbler. And I'm going to blend those in and I'm starting with the real red and then pulling it into that cherry cobbler. I think I wanted a little bit more cherry cobbler so I'm going to add a bit more. I'm going a little bit darker and pushing down a little bit harder. So now I've got lots of nice shading in there. Okay, so now I'm going to simply cut these out. Okay, so I have my three hollies all cut out. Now I'm bringing in a piece of um, designer series paper. This is from our pressed petals designer series paper package and I wanted the pretty uh, musical notes. So I've cut this to measure four by five and a quarter. I'm taking my stays on again, inking up the same holly stamp and I'm gonna stamp it randomly right on top of this designer series paper. And I'm going in different directions. I'm going to go off the page a little bit. Okay, so I've stamped all my designer series paper. Now I'm bringing my one and a half inch circle punch and I'm going to punch out three circles and I want to make sure I punch out some of the design on these hollies. And there's one. There's 
two. And there's three. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the holly that I've cut behind it. And that will be our reverse spotlighting, our punched out window technique. So what I'm going to do now is take my snail adhesive and I'm just adding some uh, adhesive right around those circles. And now I'm just lining up my holly. and pushing into that adhesive. Because of the veins on the holly, it's very easy to line these up. Now I'm gonna put more adhesive behind those cut hollies. as well as on the edges of the designer series paper. And I've moved this bottom one, so I'm gonna to have to fix that. And put a bit more adhesive behind that one. Okay. Now I have a piece of basic black. This cardstock measures three and three quarters by five, and I'm just positioning it right on top. And more adhesive. And I'm putting this onto my real red card base. Just like that. And there it is, reverse spotlighting, also known as the punched out window technique. So I'm going to go ahead and add some glitter to this because Christmas cards have to have glitter. And I am just putting glitter on the inside of the black circles. So I'm using my fine tip glue pen and I'm adding just a little bit onto each berry, kind of below each of the little dots on those berries. And now I'm gonna go along the veins of each holly. Give me my dazzling diamond glitter. I'm just gonna sprinkle it right on top. Look how pretty that is. I haven't decided if my card is going to go this way yet or this way. I'll figure that out once I do the sentiment. Now while this has beautiful sentiments in the same set as the holly, I'm going to use the itty bitty Christmas stamp set. I know I've been using this in a lot of my videos but I really do love this set and I like that the um, the sentiments are small and that they also fit in our classic label punch. Um, I am going to use the season's greetings for this card and I'm bringing in that scrap bit of uh, paper and my real red ink pad and I'm just gonna ink it up I'm using my classic label punch to punch that out Now I have a piece of scrap basic black and I'm going to punch out a piece of that with the same punch and I'm going to cut this in half and put some adhesive behind my sentiment and just line these up behind it. Now I've just cut some Stampin' Dimensionals in half and I'm taking three halves and I'm going to put them right behind the back. 
Oh, that one's got a little bit extra on it. That's all right. Now, figure out where I want to put this. Oh, there's a little bit of black paper behind here, so I'm just going to trim that out. I think I like this right here in the center, so that's what I'm going to do. A piece of five and a quarter by four inches computer paper is going on the inside. Now I'm going to use these sentiments and I'm going to put them on the inside. So I'm going to stamp the sentiment first in mossy metal. Now I'm going to stamp the second part with real red. ink the holly and stamp that inside as well and I'm gonna overlap maybe a little bit onto that sentiment that's all right and I'm gonna color this the same way that I colored the um, holly on the front There's my finished card. Well, it'll be finished when I add some champagne shimmer mist. It's gonna look sensational, especially on that black cardstock. So there is my finished card. Such a fun technique. Now I've made some others using the same set, so I'm gonna show you them. This designer series paper is from the Perennial Essence designer series paper and I did it exactly the same way except I just put it on a crumb cake card base so there's no layer in between the card base and the designer series paper and I added a couple of holly right on top with dimensionals and I cut my circle a little bit too close to the edge so it cut uh, in half so that's why my sentiments way down here is to hide that. Here's another one. Now this one's on a Whisper White card base. And here I did use the sentiment from the same stamp set. Now this one's a little bit different. This is using the circles that I punched out. I wasn't sure how it would look, but I think it's not too bad. And I colored in my holly. These are stamped on crumb cake cardstock. Same thing, I used the punched out circles and this is on a Whisper White card base. There's no extra layering and I just punched out the circle for the sentiment. So this was just playing around to see how I could use up those circles. There's lots of different ways we can use them up but I think it turned out not too bad. And then here's a non-Christmas one. This one is using our Floral Essence stamp set. And the designer series paper is from the Pressed Petals. And again, I just colored in my flowers using the uh, watercolor pencils. I stamped So Saffron ink in the centers to coordinate with the card base and added some glitter to the center. And that's just another pretty card. So you can see you could use so many different stamp sets and colors and papers. This is a really fun technique. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. I had a lot of fun making these and I'm sure that you're going to enjoy this technique as well. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button, I encourage you to do so. I would love for you to be part of my YouTube family and thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Happy stamping.